Will a $10 CPU cooler work? Let's find out. Today, we will be looking at various CPU coolers with prices under $10 or 500 pesos. People have been recommending more mainstream coolers such as the Hyper 212 series, Hyper T4, and various AIOs. So this video was made to show whether cheap CPU coolers are effective or not. First, we have the Gamma Archer from Deepcool. Priced at 250 PHP or 5 US dollars, this one has an all-aluminum structure with a 120mm fan on it. This works on Intel's 1150X series and 775 series as well as AMD's AM2, 3, and 4, and FM1 and 2. Another one from Deepcool, the tower style Ice Edge Mini is priced at 350 Philippine Peso or 7 US dollar. This one has two copper heat pipes that helps in dissipating the heat while being cooled by 80mm fan. Compatibility for this CPU cooler is similar to the Gamma Archer. The Deepcool Gamax 200T is similar to the Ice Edge Mini, albeit taller and wider. It also sports a 120mm fan, and this one is priced at 500 Philippine Peso or 10 US dollars. Socket compatibility is the same with the previous two mentioned. Next, we have the Sigmatec Apache CD903, priced at 500 Philippine Peso or 10 USD. This one is a small profile cooler that has a full aluminum construction with an 80mm fan on it. The mounting system for this cooler is similar to Deepcool's coolers. The 500 Philippine Peso ID Cooling DK03 Halo is the only CPU cooler that has an LED on it and also has an aluminum body with a 120mm fan. Unfortunately, this one only supports Intel 1150X motherboards and doesn't have any AMD support. And finally, I'll be also adding the Intel stock cooler in our benchmarks. For our test setup, all CPU coolers will run on a stock i7-3770K, a PHZ77 motherboard from ASUS with 8GB of DDR3 RAM. I will also be using the GT1030 for our gaming benchmarks. And for consistency with the thermal paste, I will be using Deepcool's Z5 for all of the tests with one day curing time per each cooler. Before going to my conclusion, I would like to point out a major problem that I encountered with my ID cooling halo that might pose a clearance problem to some motherboard. The elevated part of the aluminum is having clearance issue with motherboards that have capacitors near the CPU socket. I notice it in my PHZ77 as well as in this H61 motherboard that I have. To sum it all up, not all sub $10 coolers are bad. Some perform better than the stock cooler while some are really just a waste of money. As for my recommendation, I recommend the Ice Edge Mini for being the cheapest that outperforms the stock cooler and the Gamax 200T for the best performer under $10. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you and goodbye.